Is that Didact? No way. Mm. That is Didact. Oh my god. Just tell me about Didact. He's actually a name I'm not super familiar with. Um, so he's more towards the forward scene. Um, I don't know how long he's been playing, but I know he played net play for quite a while before coming to tournaments. Um, very, very technical Fox. Okay. I think he plays Falcon now full time, but I could be wrong. Yeah, he plays Falcon. Yep, yep. Um, uh, funny uh, didactisms is um, he. So apparently he used to eat a bag of chips every time he'd play, and that would okay. grease up his fingers so oh, he could, no. you know, shine faster and <laughs> okay. stuff. Okay, interesting. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, there's lots of funny Facebook posts about Didact talking about like, yeah, man, you just gotta eat some pizza before you play Fox so oh your hands God. move faster. I feel like if I did that, my my controller would sl like just fly out of my hand <laughs> <laughs> trying to do things. Yeah, well, I'm I'm sure I'm sure it takes a lot of finesse as well. He, he's got it down Probably. to a science. Okay, okay. Um, just the right amount of pizza, like not too much, yeah, so it's not exactly, too greasy, exactly. but not, just a little bit, so you're all like. You don't want the greasy pepperoni. Maybe like a sausage. Sausage. A sausage okay. pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has a little bit of you know sausage grease in there, but not. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'll uh -oh. stop that image for you. Um, but uh, he's going up against Eswap. Mm -hmm. um, Eswap's like our our local tech gremlin mm -hmm. that again grew a brain. They make those now. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't know where they came from. Like, remember when space animals would just be technical and then you would just like hit them with a the move and they die? Yep. Th that stopped happening. I remember when uh, uh, space animals would shine my shield and wave dash through it, and I just up smash out of shield them. <laughs> it was a good time. So oh, it doesn't yeah. work anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, yeah, Eswap, uh, one of our young stars, he, teaming with Mojo, he won this tournament, the, the doubles tournament, um, teamed nice. with nice. Mojo at Genesis. Okay. Uh, they made top eight. Um, and that's just his doubles career. Singles career, Eswap has wins over Bananas, Mojo. He actually has the edge on Mojo, which really, is really. almost unheard of. Yeah. Um, Mojo very good at, you know, Fox Dittos. Uh, I mean, just the game in general. And <laughs> for Eswap to come out, even he even took a break for a while. Eswap was uh, gone for a couple months, came back, and then was just immediately a threat again. Nice, nice. Sometimes that can help. Sometimes, like, the uh, players will, like, get all that sort of negative energy built up, and, like, uh -huh. and then it just, like, sucks. I don't get it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And just taking a break for a little bit can help clear that up. Uh-huh. Definitely works for Eswap. So let's see if he can continue his run. Didact is definitely the underdog in this situation, especially Falcon versus Fox. But you never know. Uh, Didact could be, you know, super on the grind and can pull out some crazy stuff today. Falcon's definitely that sort of character where you can, like, you could try to make something happen, and if he successfully makes something happen, like, you oh, can just yeah. explode. Yeah. Blow everyone's minds with some crazy combo. Mm -hmm. He definitely has touch of death. Yeah, yeah. And it, like, it doesn't even necessarily need to be super crazy, just simple dash dance grab. Set yeah. up for tech chase. Reaction tech chase. Get Fox off stage. Can be very scary. Nice edge guard though there from SFOP. Yeah, very content just to shark underneath with the uh, up airs. Up mm -hmm. air, honestly, probably one of the best aerials in the game. From yes, Falcon. extremely good. All the coverage of Marth up air plus combo ability. Like, mm. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Oh, I like the F tilt, but uh, SFOP saw through it, uh, shortening his side B. Mm -hmm. Moving here from Didact, working his way back down to the ground. That stop still got him in the corner, though. Oh, no. That up B could have been potentially bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I think he weathered the storm all right. Um, you know, Didact not dying off of a wave shine is, is usually a good sign. For sure. Excellent uh, aerial weave, though. Oh, oh my okay. god, what are you doing, yeah, Eswap? Going, going a little crazy there. Yeah, Which, this, uh... Oh, but again, the, oh the high up B and the drift back. Uh-huh. Ledge guarding Fox is kind of ridiculous sometimes. It can be really tricky. He's got a lot of options and a lot, like, the, as you can see there, like, pretty good aerial control whenever he's doing those up so. uh, -huh. uh There are definitely situations where you can just cover everything if you do it right, but uh, it can be very, very hard. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, and, okay. and it's, it's funny. Um, Didact, being a very technical former Fox main, now kind of, like, resembles a more paced and, and like, uh, observant Falcon, mm -hmm. which isn't really what you'd expect. You'd expect it to be like STJ or S2J style, you know, really right. fast up in your face, looking for these crazy combos. He's kind of resembling Wizrobe right now. Right, right, yeah, a little bit more reserved, not super crazy, uh, which is fine. Yeah, Falcon can definitely, definitely be played like that. 
And it's definitely tempting to play like that against Fox, no matter what character you are. Exactly. <laughs> you right. see him moving around, and you're like, I can do that too. Watch. Yeah, yeah. I can do that over here where you can't hit me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. You don't want Fox to be uh, on top of you. It's never a good time. Okay, nice scraps from SVOP there. Trading with the, the Nair, but then ready to react with the jab and the pressure afterwards. <laughs> SVOP going for some swagger. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit of swagger there. Didact gonna work his way out of the corner again, as Fox. Uh -huh. just controls center stage. Yeah, really hard to, to get out of the corner when uh, a Fox is standing with his back turned to you. Mm -hmm, Up yeah. tilt is a gnarly tilt, move. Yeah. Really, really gnarly. And back air, you know, back air is a, uh -huh. it's a move that invalidates a lot of the characters <laughs> in this game. <laughs> Man, Excellent oh my god, tactics. amazing from Didact. He does not want to die. Yeah, holding on to that last stock. But that will do it. 150% back air. Doesn't matter how, how good you DI. That's going to be curtains. <laughs> yeah. And even if you do live the, the knockback, I mean, Falcon's recovery is abysmal. Though. Yeah. Yeah. At that point in time, it's just a, a question of where Fox is going to put the back air. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> what, exactly. At what point he's going to intercept and not if. Okay. Nice dash dance. Doesn't get the tech chase, though. That's pretty big. How do you feel about uh, the Dreamland counter pick? I feel like traditionally this has been a fairly good counter pick for Falcon. Um, he is a very spry character. Um, his dash dance is really, really good. His like his punish, uh -huh. if you try to do something whenever he's dash dance, is really, really good. Um, and so I like that idea, especially for like since recovery is bad. Um, if you get hit in center stage, it's less likely that it'll put you off stage where you'll just get edge guarded for free. Like like so. Although yeah. I mean, not for free. Dynamite yeah. looking like he's the unkillable. Yeah, he's definitely charging a high fee for that edge guard. <laughs> Levying heavy taxes. Mm -hmm. Got some tariffs on that. <laughs> we don't allow Fox back air in this uh, in this ledge. Okay. Uh, still surviving the back air. 180. And that's another thing. I mean, Falcon definitely likes going high when he's hit off. Sure. Gives him access to the Falcon sure. kick, which doubles up your double jump. Oh no, that's gotta be rough. Yeah, yeah, that's a uh, not the most well-timed edge guard ever. That's about good turnaround. Oh uh, my god, what? Don't know if that was an intentional up to you. I'm was, not sure what that was about. It was something. It was something <laughs> that did happen. Okay, nice wave shines. Okay, okay, nice. Getting a little fancy with it. Man, oh, SWAP just racked up a quick 80% on Didact, too. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. No, 80% is a lot, but I feel like Didact still has a lot of mileage on his stocks. For sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he lived to like over 200% that stock. Yeah, which is not normal for Falcon. Mm -hmm. That's not normal at all. Yep. The stage definitely helps a little bit with that. Gives him potential more survivability, but doesn't. Uh -huh. Yeah, has to avoid situations like that. Yeah. Well, Shine can't be teched, so <laughs> Didact right. uh, had no choice but to die. Yeah, yeah. There's some mix-ups he had there. Well, the dive going to drift in or drift out, but uh, yeah, that's why I'm definitely just like, I was ready to sit there and just react. Uh-huh. Nice up tilt. Got the jump, so it's going to be a great situation for him. Oh, Ooh, that okay. weak nair was actually amazing. It covered it so much. No, it's not fly. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, that's, that's, uh, that's that. That's melee, <laughs> baby. Yeah, that's melee for sure. <laughs> okay. Didact looking to get something started. He gets a stomp, but doesn't really find much out of it. Yeah, I'd say that's the, if there's one thing that's stopping Dadek from really taking the lead in these games, whenever he does get that hit, he's not pushing it as far as Spop is. Uh huh. Especially on like when like you mentioned how he's playing like Wizard Up, but Wizard Up also has like those tech chases. Like he yeah. knocks you out of the ground and you do not get away. Yeah, the truly touch of death. I mean, yeah. Wizard Up just does not let you live. Nice deep down air there to cover the side B. Oh, I like the Raptor boost. Yeah. SWAP really wasn't expecting it. And, uh, you know, you usually get a couple of those a set, so right. cash them in when you can. <laughs> For sure. They will stop working. <laughs> and uh, they will not be pleasant <laughs> whenever no, they stop no, working. No. Once, you, uh, once you see that whiff, it's it's all over. OK, nice. There he goes. Gets the knee. Uh -huh. Down to the last stock here. I also love how he had to, he had to sort of position around the platform. Uh, yeah. to land that knee. So it was, it was a little more than just like a basic stomp knee. It was a, it was a technical stomp knee. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Definitely like ran out and then like doubled up the way back. But that neutral Rough. air, gonna seal it. s pop coming ahead despite the SDs. Uh-huh. And man, I don't... I. It feels like Didact kind of got robbed because Didact played exceptionally well. 
Eswap just played much better. Right, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like um, it goes back to what I was saying. Like, they were both playing, like, the neutral, they were both playing fairly well. But then, man, when Eswap ever touched him, it was just yeah. hit, 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 push yeah. off stage, and now you're Falcon off stage. Multiple teching on the ledge still didn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Up to 200% was still behind the entire game. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, shout out to Didact. Uh, he doesn't really come around much so anymore, so seeing him at DreamHack is really cool. Yeah. Cool. I love seeing yeah. these uh, these older players like come out of the woodworks mm -hmm. and just appear again. It's like, wow. Right. Yeah, I mean, events like this, like DreamHack will do it. Like, exactly, this is yeah. a really cool event. I mean, the prize pool is pretty nice. Yeah. Um, the venue is amazing. I love this venue. Um, it's great for just like for esports stuff in general. Like, no matter what you're interested in, yeah, the you odds go. are DreamHack has it at this event. Like, yeah, for sure. Like, they have an epic speedrunning event here, too. Like, I saw that, yeah. <laughs> yeah very yeah, cool. Yeah.